that. I cut out the high carbohydrate <laughs> foods around the clock. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and supper. And was able to more or less get... I did one more thing, I'm sorry. I started taking... I invented, actually, what's called now called basal bolus insulin, where you take a long-acting insulin to cover the fasting state. Blood sugars of anybody will go up, if, even if they're not eating, if they don't have insulin in their bloodstream. It inhibits gluconeogenesis and several other processes. So you need a long-acting insulin twice a day, and before meals, you need what's called a bolus to cover that meal. This is what non-diabetics do. They make basil and bolus. Uh, and I tried to replicate that. I was the first one to do that. Um, in any event, my main reason for trying for normal blood sugars was the frequent hypoglycemia. I had little kids, and I was scaring them all the time. My wife was always angry at all the low blood sugars. And there was no, not knowing the blood sugars, there was no way around that. So I got pretty much rid of that, and maybe got my average blood sugar to 120 or so, maybe 130, and didn't know any more about the necessity of normal blood sugars. Until I had, uh, until I uh, built a gym in my home. Uh, in those days, we thought maybe strenuous exercise would help prevent the complications of diabetes. The hallmark was Billy Talbert, who was a tennis uh, pro, champion tennis pro, who supposedly didn't have complications of diabetes. As it turned out, he had many, including uh, very poor vision. Um, but we didn't know that. So I started working out in the gym. Uh, I ended up uh, having to take my company public and uh, didn't have time to to go out to the gym at lunch. So I built a gym in my home. And I wanted to justify on my tax return the considerable cost of building a gym. So I did a literature search survey. There were no computers. I had to send a letter to the local Academy of Medicine, who in turn uh, sent an order to the Library of Congress to do a search of the literature. And in a month and a half, I got the results of the search. And the, ser the search <coughs> words that I used were diabetes, exercise, long-term complications. And we learned only two things. That exercise lowered triglycerides and that in animals, the long-term complications of diabetes were reversed by normal blood sugars something that was never spoken about or discussed in the medical community. It was a myth, really, because when I discussed this with my doctor, he said, well, humans aren't animals, aren't, aren't, aren't mice, uh, and uh, don't even think about it. Well, here I saw this article in the literature, or many articles that cited what had been discovered in, in animals, uh, so I decided to try to normalize my blood sugar. In those days, we thought that a blood sugar of 100 was normal. So <clears throat> I shot for a blood sugar of 100. Uh, I, part of my regimen was to make corrections with fast-acting insulin if your blood sugar went too high. Initially, I would use little uh, honey candies to bring it down, and I computed how much a honey candy would lower me. But on a trip to England, I discovered that they had a product in the drugstores called Dextrosol, which was glucose tablets for energy. Huh. And I said to myself, gee, uh, that's the way to correct a low blood sugar. You want something fast. Even these honey candies were too slow. So I started importing Dextrosol tablets. Each one would raise my blood sugar by 15 milligrams per deciliter. And I really achieved what I thought were normal blood sugars at around 100. Um, uh, over time, 
my proteinuria went away, and uh, I think the last uh, serum creatinine that I got was something like 0.96, which is a measure of kidney function and is in the realm of young humans, okay? So I have the kidneys of a young human. Um, my lipid profile plummeted, uh, and my last HDL was 123, uh, so it didn't plummet, but lip the, my dyslipidemia reversed. My HDL went up to 123 recently, and my LDL last was around 53. Now, mostly it's a low-carbohydrate diet. Uh, it's also normal blood sugars, and it's also the exercise. So all of those working together can give a person who was previously at severe, severe risk uh, in the supernormal realm as far as lipids go. Now, of course, we know that there's still a big question as to whether lipids really cause heart disease, and uh, that has not been resolved. Uh, I might add that I had, uh, about two years ago, a cardiac calcium score done, and, you know, this, typically the score can be from zero. Does anyone not know what a calcium score is? You don't know, okay. Basically, with high-speed electron beam tomography, you can, take, you can take a snapshot of the heart at high speed, like uh, taking a, a photo of a, of a race car driver at a 5,000th of a second. And you stop it and you count the, cal the, the calcium deposits along the coronary arteries. And you can be anywhere from, say, 1 to 1,000. And I was... I'm sorry, zero to a thousand. I was one. I had one spot at age 16, at age 74. Uh, so it tells me that it's possible to reverse the coronary artery disease, to unload plaques. Clearly, I must have had lots of deposits from the looks of uh, my iris, irises. Um, I believe that part of that reversal has to do with the cardiovascular exercise that I do. I do both, both weightlifting for reasons that I'll go into if someone asks me later, but also uh, high, uh, bi uh, uh, an exercise bicycle. I use a recumbent bike, and I get my heart rate well above my theoretical maximum. And I do this every th third day. Uh, I've been doing this since 1967, and I suspect that that is a major factor in reversing pre-existing severe vascular disease. Uh, you have to be careful when you do that. If you're already at cardiac risk, you have to uh, work your heart rate up slowly. So I have some people whom, uh, who clearly have coronary artery disease uh, instead of doing them at uh, a heart rate of 200, like I was doing uh, seven or eight years ago, I'm now doing 150, uh, the, the uh, theoretical maximum is 220 minus your age, I might start them at 130 and slowly work them up, maybe one beat per minute per month. So it might get, take some people several years to get up to their theoretical maximum, uh, without giving themselves a heart attack. Okay, uh, so here, uh, with a low-carbo diet and normal blood sugars, I was able to re reverse my lipids. I felt like I was reborn. I remember when I used to come home and...